it's a lot slower than, than COVID. Climate change is already here. Our population is growing as a planet. Our consumption is growing. Now we have a requirement, perhaps an imperative to change that is driven by this exogenous fact that endogenously we destroyed the planet. Business as usual is no longer acceptable. But the challenger we're facing has a time limit on it. We're going to struggle to hit, you know, 1.5 degrees if we don't throw everything that we possibly can at it. Why are companies failing to transition? Companies, they want to survive. And the question you should ask is whether they believe there is a future for them if they change their model and manage through the energy transition. Can they succeed? The what if, if we did change, they don't know how. They need experts. So back to the question of who I trust. We are willing to work with other pieces to fill the picture in. The more we price this in, the better prepared those companies are going to be. How are you going to be using uh, information to your own advantage? Living a better life, a uh, cleaner air. A sustainable, resilient economy moving forward. What you should expect is to be judged by the standards of tomorrow and not by the laws of, of today. And if we have the right knowledge and we do it in the right way. This is the way that we move forward. So it's, it's, it's a new world. It's a very exciting space. The question is, will we be on this planet still when nature does run its course?